Good afternoon, everyone. Our top story right now, the elementary school where a teacher, Brittany Zamora, assaulted a student last year, is now denying allegations they were too negligent and contributed to the student's abuse. The Liberty Elementary School District has filed court records denying negligence, but they do admit that the school principal was informed about rumors of a student-teacher relationship about a month before Zamora was arrested. Team 12's Antonio Mejia has been following this story since the very beginning, joins us with the very latest. Hey guys, in addition to denying any negligence, the school district says they did not believe the rumors required a duty to report to the family and police. I think the facts as laid out um, by the police investigation. Russ Richelsoff represents the victim and his family. I think the district needs to take responsibility. In court paperwork, the Liberty Elementary School District is admitting Las Brisa School Principal Timothy Dickey first learned of the possibility of sexual abuse between Brittany Zamora and her 13-year-old student in February of last year, when multiple students came forward with what the school considered to be rumors. The district also admits the principal spoke to students, but that he did not immediately notify parents or police. The district saying in court records that the principal did not believe the information he had required him to report it under state law. You know, rather than reporting this to an agency that is equipped and trained to investigate these kinds of things, he failed to do that. The district also denied they were negligent in monitoring the teacher's social media interactions with a student. Frankly, it's troubling because these people are still in the business of educating children. The district has asked the court to dismiss the civil lawsuit against them. As for the teacher, Brittany Zamora, well, she pleaded guilty in sexually abusing her student and she faces sentencing on July 12th. She's likely to face more than 20 years in prison. Back to you guys. Okay, Antonia, thanks.